hey there guys, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome to the 10th episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Uh, thank you guys once again for deciding to join me here today. Hope that you'll be enjoying this one. Uh, we got quite a bit in store this episode. Today we're going to go ahead and take on all the Empire missions, and uh, kind of just explore Empire expansion in general so I can show off that system, because uh, it's a very important aspect of the game. And I feel like it's not really related to the story in any significant way, and so I might not otherwise get to do it unless I dedicate a full episode to uh, just doing some of the Empire assets around Vice City and showing you guys how this all functions. Um, so anyway, you come inside any of the assets that you own, and you have guards that you can talk to to trigger your Empire missions, or you can develop and repair the Empire site. I believe I did show this off uh, possibly in the last episode, but... Um, you can decide what kind of business you want in your location. We have some business types that are unavailable until we unlock more of the game map, but for now we have Loan Shark, Prostitution, and uh, Protection. The most profitable is going to be the High Roller um, Size Venture, so you choose what type of business and then you choose what size you want your business to be. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade our business to be a High Roller business. and. Uh, Whenever you buy a high roller version of a business, you unlock an outfit at your safe house that is associated with that business type. So, um, at the end of the episode, I'll probably go ahead and show you guys all the outfits that I unlock. But, uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and let that business develop. When you initially buy the business and, uh, decide what you want it to be or upgrade it or whatever, there's a short period of time there where you can't re-enter the business because it's being built. So while that business is being built up, let's go to another one of our locations, and uh... Actually, you know what, before we go to another one of our locations, maybe what I should do is show off how you take over a rival gang's location. So, uh, the blue locations belong to Vic Vance, and all the other colors represent different gangs in the area, so Cholos, Bikers... Uh, later on when we get to the other half of the game world, we'll see the Sharks, and uh some other characters that I won't I won't spoil anything about but in any case you can attack a, ra a rival gang's business uh, wreck it and then buy it so that you can then establish yourself there and expand your empire so that's what I'd like to do right now I'm gonna go ahead and drive around and see if I can find a business that I can attack um, I think this one over here belongs to the Cholos because it's yellow so to initiate an attack you see this gang vehicle parked outside you basically just have to blow it up so let's go ahead and fill it with lead. And once that's exploded, we'll be good to go ahead and take over this building here. So now that the, uh, oh god, we got the police on our ass too. So uh, once that's started up, all the Cholos in the area are going to come to defend the business, so we have to kill them all as well. And it's really unfortunate that the cops are after us too, because that's just going to be a bigger pain in the ass. But anyway, go ahead and take care of this guy and this guy. Um, understandably, taking over a rival high roller business is going to be a lot more difficult than taking over a small time business owned by another gang. Uh, just because there'll be more enemies guarding it. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy now that we're inside. Get rid of you, and then we just gotta smash all their stuff. Which is pretty easy. Let's go ahead and cut it with a knife. Cut these cabinets with a knife. And then cut this desk with a knife. Or kick that guy at the ground first, and then cut it with a knife. Alright, and so now the business is up for purchase, and you also get $1,000 for doing a successful attack, just as a sweet little bonus. So let's go ahead and purchase this property, since it is for sale. And uh, go ahead and build... Uh, let's see, what kind of business do I want to make here? Uh, maybe a high roller protection ring. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Alrighty, so while that's being built, uh, oh, I also unlocked the Hired Muscle outfit. Uh, again, I'll show those all off at the end of the video. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drive to one of our currently owned businesses. And now that I've shown you how to take over an enemy business, I'll show you how to improve your current ones and to take missions from them. So we just come over here. Oh, wait, that's not our business. That's an enemy business. Um... Oh, we can actually buy this one because it's damaged. So, okay. That's weird because I didn't attack that one. I guess a rival gang must have attacked it instead. 
Let's build a... Oh god, I can't even afford that. Let's build a, a small-time protection racket, maybe? Or maybe a loan shark office. I don't have too many of those. That's really weird. I don't know why that one was damaged, because I didn't attack it. Oh god, oh god. Alright, so this is another aspect of Empire missions. Your businesses can come under attack as well, so when that happens... Why can't I get in this car? No, oh, screw it. Let me just take this one. So, uh, another aspect of building up your empire is that you constantly have to defend your current businesses from rival gang attacks. So, uh, I think either the bikers or the cholos are attacking us. I didn't quite catch which. But um, before that damage meter completely fills up, we have to race on over to our business and save it. So, uh, yeah, looks like cholos are attacking us. Let's go ahead and run these guys over. Um, you do have your own gang members that sort of help you protect businesses, but they're not all that great at doing it if you're not around to help them. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this guy. And I think a couple more wave of Cholos are going to come to attack us. I'm going to roll up in some Cholo-ass car. And after we do this, I promise I'll get back to us showing off the actual Empire missions themselves, because you can take missions from all of your businesses. Um, things like running your prostitutes around town if you have a prostitution business, or um, stealing merchandise if you are a loan shark, that kind of thing. They're actually missions that we've already done before for Marty, if you guys remember. Oh god, I accidentally killed one of my own gang members. Christ. Now let's get rid of this guy. But um, all the missions here are actually repeats of missions that we took for Marty earlier on, and now we're just doing it for ourselves as opposed to as uh, for that scumbag, so. Alright. Oh god. Alright, all these cars are gonna blow up. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Oh man. Okay, I think that one's still gonna blow up over there. God damn. That was uh, quite a spectacle. Okay, so uh, we successfully defended the business. That's good. Do I have to repair it? Uh, apparently not. You know, let me just save my game real quick here, before we do anything else. Uh, these are all my save files, yada yada. Don't think I've ever actually shown that on screen. Let me just save real quick. And, uh... I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and start doing, uh, the Empire missions right now. So, you go ahead and press R3 to trigger it, and we're gonna do Extortion, because we are a protection business over here. So, the protection missions basically consist of going to shops that are under your protection and saving them from rival gangs, or acquiring new shops through attacking them. And so, um, you see there, there's 15 total jobs we have to do. Once you do that, your reputation around town is increased, which means you generate more money from this type of empire business. So, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and show off maybe one or two jobs, and then after I've done that... I'll probably fast forward to after I've completed 15 of them. It's kind of repetitive and, uh, you know, a little bit tedious, but I feel that it is important to go ahead and do this just so that I can uh, start generating money. Once you own a number of businesses around Vice City, you actually start to roll in a lot of cash. Um, you get paid every day in the game. And so, if you have a lot of businesses, a lot of high roller businesses under your control, you end up getting a pretty nice revenue stream coming in. And uh, that's going to help us out to do later missions in the game when we need to buy more expensive uh, things like weapons. But, so that was the first job. We basically have to do 15 of those, and they're randomly generated. So sometimes we'll be protecting our business, sometimes we'll be attacking another storefront, other times just all, all this random stuff happens. And uh, you have to complete 15 tasks, and once we've done that, we'll be in the clear. So let's go ahead and drive over there. I think we're going to go ahead and take over a Cholo business right now. Or maybe we're not taking over a Cholo, are we? I think we are. Alright, once this loads... Yeah, we're just going to smash up the storefront. To intimidate him like we did previously with Marty. And now he's under our ownership. So now that was job number two. Yeah, I think this is going to start repeating itself. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to when I get to job number 15. So I'll cut the video back in when that happens. Okay guys, I made it a little bit further. We're here doing job number 15 of 15. 
Uh, so we killed that biker, and now we're just going to run into the store that he was protecting and smash the place up a bit. And once we do this, we'll be generating more money from our protection businesses. And uh, we also gain a better reputation around the city, which I don't know if that actually really means anything. I think the game just gives you these little uh, reputation titles for the fun of it. I know another guy's going to come running in here. I can't take anymore. I'll do what you want. All right, cool, guys. That was it. Your extortion reputation has been maxed out. You're now the ultimate badass. I love that. Vic Vance, ultimate badass. Well, if we ever want to enter the UFC, that'll be our, uh, what is it, our nickname? But anyway, can go ahead and cancel out of that. And as you guys can already see, I think this is my payday here. Go ahead and show up. Yep, my payday empire earnings for this day are 3200 So every day we'll be earning $3,200, and believe me, that'll only get higher. Uh, anyway, moving on to the next Empire mission, which will be prostitution. So I'll meet you guys over at one of my prostitution businesses. Okay, guys, we're back here outside of one of Vic Vance's whorehouses, basically. Oh, and it just started to rain on top of my head. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and run inside so that we're safe from the rain. Don't want to melt. And uh, let's go ahead and start the prostitution businesses, which, if you guys have ever played San Andreas, it's basically the pimping missions. Um, I don't think those were available in Vice City, but they were definitely available in San Andreas, because I remember doing them. And basically, this set of missions, it's the same thing, you have to complete 15 tasks to improve your reputation around town as a pimp, basically. So we're going to go ahead and take a car and park outside to pick up a prostitute. Or maybe around the back. Oh no, I actually have to get into this specific car, my bad. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to jack your car for no good reason. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take this car and pull up around the front. And uh, a prostitute will jump in with us. And we're just going to take her to her John or her client, whatever you want to call him. And uh, repeat that process 15 times. Go on, get in the car, ho. Alright, so... Oh, we have a little time limit there. So yeah, nothing too difficult. Again, these missions tend to just repeat themselves over and over. It'll be totally random which things that you do or what you're asked to do. But um, basically, these missions consist of dropping off prostitutes to their clients, saving them when the clients get rough with them or if they refuse to pay, and um, bringing them back to the whorehouse. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up another one. I think at any given time, you can have up to two girls actively out and about doing their jobs. So go on, baby. Get in the car. And we're going to go ahead and take her to her client. Looks like he's over this away. The time limit's always generous enough that you can get there with plenty of time to spare, so don't worry about that. Uh, if you run over a client, you do automatically fail. Uh, something else I should mention is that you don't have to start over. If, say, you quit halfway through at 7 out of 15 jobs, when you uh, resume, you'll be back at 7 out of 15. You won't reset back down to 1. So, you don't have to do 15 missions consecutively, you just have to do 15 missions total. So, definitely, if you guys are getting tired, feel free to take a break halfway through and resume your progress. So, um, that was our first job completed. We're going to take her to her next client. And, um, again, guys, I think now I'll just go ahead and skip ahead the video, because this is just going to be the same thing repeated over and over. Um, so once I've done 15 tasks escorting these ladies around town, I'll cut the video back in. So, see you guys in just a minute. Alrighty guys, we're back, and this is kind of cool, I get to show this off. Uh, so, for this last task, one of the clients is refusing to pay, so we basically just have to go run him over. So there he is, he's trying to get away on foot, I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. But we can uh, run him over, and even hop out of the car and take his cash if we want to. You don't have to do that, I just like to. And uh, then go pick up our babe over here. And I believe that will be job 15 out of 15. Awesome, your pimping reputation has maxed out. You're now the Mac Daddy of Heimlich County. So we're the ultimate badass Mac Daddy right now. That's pretty damn cool. Anyway, go to go ahead and end that off. Now we just have one more business type to uh, max out our reputation in. Oh, let's check our payday now. So now our earnings are 6,300. So you see this accumulates really, really quickly. Your earnings increase more and more. 
But anyway guys, I'll go ahead and cut out the video here and meet you at one of my loan shark businesses. Stay frosty. Alrighty guys, I'm here outside of one of my loan shark offices. Um, and we're going to go ahead and run here and do the last little set of Empire missions for now. Um, when we unlock the other three Empire types later on in the game, I'll go ahead and probably do another episode where I just show off those three. But um, anyway, went ahead and took the missions here. And so for this one, our 15 tasks are going to consist of repossessing merchandise. So in this case, a bike, a motorcycle. And uh, so you'll only ever have to repossess either a bicycle or a moving van full of cargo. Which should be very familiar because we did the exact same thing for Marty. So let's go ahead and find where this bike is and just... Uh, I want to knock those guys off that bike, damn it. But that cop was in the way. Alright, get back here, and just, oh god, if I could just ram their damn bike. Come on, quit making me look like an idiot. Okay, okay, you know what, if you're going to play like that, I am just going to shoot you off. I'm not even going to be nice anymore. That's what you get, asshole. Yeah, you better run. We'll get you next. Alright, anyway, once we've gotten the bike repossessed, quote-unquote, aka stolen, um, we're going to go ahead and take it back to the building we started at. And that is task 1 of 15, so once again guys, I think I'll just go ahead and cut the video out here. Well, that's a nice, $150 reward. Um, I'll cut the video out here, and after I've done 15 of these tasks, I'll go ahead and cut back in, and we will reap the reward. So stick around guys, I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, we're back here. My last task for this is to repossess a van full of merchandise. Okay, let's get that guy out of there and run his ass over. Keep him pinned under the other car there. Nifty. Alright, and then we just have to take this van full of stolen goods back to our place, and we are all wrapped up here. Pretty good stuff, we made good time. Although I will be editing most of it out, so you guys won't have to worry about sitting through 15 missions of that crap. But I made a $200 reward there for our last drop-off. And now, your loan sharking reputation has been maxed out, you are the Crim Reaper. Uh, admittedly, that's not nearly as cool as the last two titles were, but whatever. So we're now Mac Daddy Ultimate Badass Crim Reapers. Alrighty, so before I end off the video though, there's one last thing I want to do. Uh, let me just run here real quick and set up a high roller prostitution business because I haven't yet done one of those. Um, a high roller one anyway. And um, that'll just be so that I unlock the outfit associated with doing the prostitution line of businesses. So let's go ahead and buy that. And what I'm going to do, guys, is cut out the video here and I'll meet you at my safe house. And I'll now show you what outfits we have unlocked after doing all this. So stick around. Check it out, check it out. We're back here at our swank little ghetto crib that Phil gave us back at the start of the game. Um, you'll notice this little t-shirt icon floating here. Here is where we can change into our different types of clothing that we've unlocked. So um, let me go ahead and show you guys what our rewards are for having done all of that. So we got our regular clothing here, our casuals. Got our leisure suit for doing uh, prostitution stuff. We got trailer trash. That was actually, I think, had something to do with killing Marty, I think. Uh, hired Muscle, that's for doing protection, and Repo Man, that's for doing loan sharking. And uh, I have to say, of those outfits, I think the one I'm going to choose to wear... Um, you know, the Trailer Trash outfit kind of reminds me of CJ's outfit from uh, San Andreas. It's kind of cool. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that's what he looks like. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Repo Man outfit. So this is what we're going to be using for now. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I promise in the next episode we'll get back to main story missions. We just had to uh, take care of this here today. But um, once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to subscribe to me. And that way you can stay updated when I make new episodes and post them to my channel. So, until next time, guys, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!